Hey guys, this will be a very definition oriented lecture and we're going to look at the different types of incomes available to households. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with what is called earned income. And a couple of examples of earned income are just a basic wages or salaries that may be available to people when they outsource or give out their labour. So what this, as a definition or as the name suggests, earned income is when we give up our skills, talents, and personal effort in return for money. So that's the definition of earned income. We earn our pay, as the name suggests. So secondly, the converse also is also a type of income, which is unearned income. The most prevalent source of unearned income comes from interest, dividends, profits, or rent. So this income is unearned because it represents, uh, it, it arises from ownership, from ownership of assets. So in the case where you have a house, people have to pay rent to stay in the house, you earn income from rent. You're not actually giving up your skill, your talent, or personal effort in return for this income. So that represents unearned income. And this is just over 10% of households total income or the source of household income whereas earned income represents around 60% of overall income in the nation. Okay, thirdly we have factor incomes. Factor incomes relates back to this idea of unearned income or earned income and it represents uh, Incomes gained by those taking part in production or selling resources. So factor, as we know, factor of production comes from that it is income earned from taking part in the sale of resources. So what this means this can be a, both a combination of earned and unearned income. So factor income can be earned plus unearned. And so we earn income from foregoing our labor resource or giving up our labor resource, but we can also earn factor income from utilizing resources such as houses, shares, stocks, um, and other financial or tangible assets. So that's factor incomes. Fourthly, we have what is known as transfer incomes. And this uh, contributes to around 30 or the remaining 30% of the nation's income distribution. And what this is, is that it mainly includes government welfare assistance. The government welfare assistance. So as we know, when people uh, get taxed, the government would then uh, distribute these, these taxes so as to achieve the goal of um, income equity and income distribution because some people, they don't receive any factor incomes here or they don't receive any earned or unearned income. And so in order to uh, live a reasonable standard of living, they rely on transfer incomes. And so this represents government welfare assistance or direct cash benefits. Direct cash benefits provided by the government to its people. Okay. So these are basically to, to people or to families or households who are in need of such income in order to lead a reasonable standard of living. So there are four major uh, categories of income. We have a few separate subcategories that we can discuss as well. So we have five 
disposable income and we also have six discretionary income we should be familiar by of these two types of incomes by now disposable income is gross income less tax and discretionary income is just gross income so gross income being earned and unearned income so every all the all the um, inflow of cash that um, that we experience or that we get minus the tax that we have to pay to the government and discretionary income is gross income less tax and interest repayments and so they're basically the six subcategories or categories of income that we need to know so first we have earned income which is when we give up our skills talents and personal efforts in return for money unearned income which arises from ownership of assets Factor income, which is both a combination of earned and unearned income, which is earned from taking part in the sale of resources. And lastly, transfer incomes, which are government welfare assistance or direct cash benefits given to the needy by the government. And we also have two subcategories of income, which are disposable and discretionary income. Disposable being gross income less tax, and discretionary income being gross income less tax and interest.